Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I'm shooting a video lesson at the moment. She's working in a bookstore in this period. The world is getting hotter with a global warming. They're always complaining about life. I'm going to the beach after this video. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the present continues, so stay tuned. So we're going to talk about the present continues. Now, an important thing that I need to tell you, you need to know how to conjugate the verb to be. Why? Because it's the auxiliary verb for this tense. When do we use it? If you look at the timeline, we have the horizontal line, which represents past, then the vertical line represents now, and then we have the other part that represents future, is between the crossroads of both lines. So, it is happening right now or around now. But I'm going to explain that in just a second. Let's look at the three types of sentences first. So for a positive sentence, we need the subject first, then we need the auxiliary, I said the verb to be, then we need the base of the verb plus ing form, plus an object, plus a time expression. For example, Tom is reading a book right now. Tom is reading a book right now. Now, for the same sentence, but in a negative form, we need the subject, then we need the auxiliary plus not because it's negative, then we have the base of the verb plus the ing form of the verb, then we have the object, and then a time expression if you like. Peter isn't reading a book right now. Then, for the same type of sentence, but in a, in a question, we need the WH question word, if there is, then we need the auxiliary, to be, then we need the subject, then we need the base of the verb, plus the ING form, and then the time expression or the object. Is Peter reading a book right now? Okay, so the time expressions that we use with the present continuous at this moment or at the moment, now, this week, this year, this month, etc., nowadays, currently, presently, and these days. When do we use this tense? So I said we use it for actions happening at the moment of speaking or around the moment, the moment of, of speaking. I told you at the beginning I'm shooting a video lesson at the moment. So I could ask you, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? And you might answer, I hope so, I'm watching your lesson on YouTube. I'm, so this is a positive sentence, I'm, I am, watching your lesson on YouTube right now. This is the first um, usage of the present continuous. The second usage is for situations that are temporary. For example, she's working in a bookstore in this period. So maybe in the past she worked somewhere else. In the future she's working uh, as a teacher, for example. So she's working in a bookstore in this period, temporary. Or they have a new job and so they say they are trying to do their best at their new job. They're trying to do their best at their new job because in the past they worked somewhere else 
and now in this period because it's temporary they're trying to do their best at their new job so I'm going to erase this and I'm going to show you three other ways in which to use the present continuous so let me tell you that I've already talked about the present continuous but with the present simple if you wish to watch that lesson you may click here now going back to our lesson of the present continuous we have the third point to indicate so we use the present continuous to indicate trends progress or changes for example the world is getting hotter with the global warming is getting is becoming hotter with the global warming so this is a change right to get means become here if you wish to watch a lesson on get you may click here the second example demand for immigrants is increasing in Canada so this is a change right demand for immigrants is increasing so they need immigrants in Canada now the fourth point that um, we use the present continues is to indicate that something is annoying here you need to use an agent of time like always or forever like in my example they are always complaining about life look at always where is it placed yes it's between the auxiliary and the main verb plus ing so complaining or the other example he is always chewing food i'm sorry he is forever chewing food with his mouth wide open forever right here is placed between the auxiliary and the main verb to chew in this case chewing chewing food means with his mouth wide open like this <laughs> so the last point and i would say a, a very important point for future plans obviously you need to use an adjunct like tomorrow next week after just like my example i'm going to the beach after this video after this video not right now but after this video i'm going to the beach what are you doing after watching this video you may leave your comment under the video so now let's recap in this lesson we took a look at the present continuous don't forget that it goes with the auxiliary to be plus the base of the verb plus ing it is mainly used for actions happening right now or around now but it is also used for future plans don't forget the adjuncts of time like tomorrow next week next month etc it is also used for changes progress or trends it is also used to indicate that something is annoying you don't forget to use the adjuncts uh, always and forever great so that's it for today thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel i suggest you do next week you'll get a new lesson if you want to share the lesson please do so have a great day and see you next week with a new lesson take care bye bye